Hi, it's Lee from ColouringQueen.net and today I want to show you Bold Springtime to Colour by Ellery Fowler. You might know Ellery from her first book, Joyce Blooms to Colour. Her last book that was released in December on love is actually a thinner book than her previous book, Joyce Blooms to Colour and My Mother, My Heart. Uh, and this one is again thinner and it's thinner paper than Joyce Blooms to Colour so if you have that one just remember that this one is thinner paper. So we've got these gorgeous title page here filled with cute little animals it's absolutely adorable. Now it's white paper it's very smooth we have got an extended title page here which is a thing that Ellery does in all of her books with this lovely nameplate page to follow. Now just like in all of her previous books, we've got these lovely pages that are just filled with detail and that contain author notes and behind the scenes. And all of these front pages would be great to test out your mediums on. Now with this paper it is quite thin, so I would just be using coloured pencils with it. Now it's not um, as thin as like copy paper, so don't get the wrong idea, but it is certainly way thinner than Joyous Blooms to Colour. So this book is themed on spring, so we've got lots of lovely flowers, and as she does in all of her books, they're filled with some little quotes every now and again. And we've got these cute little bunny rabbits that signify spring. And a range of nice simple designs and some that are, you know, far more detailed. Now, the binding is quite stiff and it's only because it's relatively new. Once it's been used a few more times, hopefully it will relax a bit more. But at the moment it's quite stiff. And you can see that the images are running up there into the spine. So if I wanted to colour some of them, I'd have to sort of lift up the book like that, which is not a big deal. But you can see some of the drawings are going right here into the spine. And that's going to be tricky. I'm pushing on it quite hard. I'm working up a sweat. But, um, and still nothing's happening. So I might have to get Mr Muscles onto it. Oh, how cute is this? All these gorgeous little bunny rabbits. Everybody loves somebody sometimes. Isn't that adorable? When I seen the bunny rabbit on the front cover of this book, because I was a little bit disappointed uh, with the third book that it was thinner paper. I like the drawings so. though. But when I seen that there was a bunny rabbit on the front cover of this one, I had to get it because I live for bunny rabbits. There's so many gorgeous little illustrations and so many lovely quotes. I do hope that one day she releases artist editions because so many of these things would just look lovely in a frame. And then we've got this lovely full page with spring on it. And it's funny to see things with spring when we're coming into winter in Australia. And even an intricate mandala design there. And I usually don't like patterns that much, but I do like that one. And just like her previous books, at the end there's a few more ancillary pages 
that you can test out your color palettes and mediums on and then of course we have this gorgeous little bunny rabbit sharing his carrot with his friend the back cover has the line art on it with about the book on there in green and this is on a textured paper which is the same sort of texture as her previous books and Joyce Bloom's colour sort of like a white textured board and we've got some lovely green highlighting there green foil that matches that spine beautifully and of course we've got these cute little animals everywhere so it's an adorable book I just wish the paper was as good as Joyce Bloom's colour but you know you can't have everything in the colouring world the links to buy it are below the video until next time happy colouring